friends, welcome to the girl room. The lights are just turned off. So we have started seeds. Yay. Exciting. We actually started peppers and tomatoes a few weeks ago. I'm not having great germination with some of my plum tomatoes, which is not great. Even I up-potted some of these tomatoes today and they're looking a little rough. So, yeah, these are our pepper. No, these are tomatoes. So I re, there we go. I re uh, seeded tomatoes. But you can see here, I just used these uh, salad containers as mini greenhouses. Yeah, this one looks really great. Not great. They're all kind of a little shocked. And then I seeded some melons and some squash. Last year we had no squash, like little to no squash. And so a few videos ago I told you how I treated the garden with wormwood tincture and camphor homeopathic. So I made a mother tincture with the wormwood. I added some camphor homeopathics. And we'll see. So even our peppers I'm having a little bit of a struggle with. The nata jalapeno has not germinated and either has the baby bell. Shishito I've got. Large bell I've got. I've only got one jalapeno. Two habanadas. Like not great germination. The last few years has really been a struggle. And a bunch of my friends as well have been struggling in New York. So this had tomatoes in it and then today I wound up putting, this is supposed to be a grow table, but you know, my husband doesn't want to take that seriously. So there's a bunch of crap on here that I would not have on here, but you know, when you live with somebody else, it's a little challenging. So I did in here, uh, some more winter squash and some white zucchini. I'm hoping I have luck with that. I did some dill, some different basils. I'm just fingers crossed. Hoping, even like sun gold, I, I had one germinate out of like four seeds and it's looking not great. So I don't know what's going on. It's not, it's not making me feel very good. I don't know if you're having issues with your seeds too. Other people's seeds look better. Um, you know, the potting mix has not been great. Last year, I used, used this organic seed starting mix, and because there was no nutrients, the plants looked awful, so I went back to using a regular potty mix, and I used the calendula tincture in a spray bottle, not tincture, remedy, homeopathic remedy, and I've been spraying them, not supposed to help them keep them healthy, it's supposed to help with pests. But if you've been with me, you know, last year we had such a problem with pests, such a problem. I mean, it was crazy. Like there was little to no beneficial insects and there was just a crap load of bad insects and the tomato hornworms were bad. The squash borers were awful. I tried to do so many different things, including homeopathic remedies, and I still had no luck. So, fingers crossed, this year that works with the remedy I'm doing with the wormwood tincture. You can see the rest of what we overwinter as far as tropicals. I've got a big passion flower, some lemongrass, citronellas. We've got some hummingbird plants, some sweet potatoes. My poor plumeria. What is that on the plumeria? It's got like a fungus on it. It hasn't been outside in over a year, and it does not look good. I don't know what that is, but I don't want that getting on anything else. It looks like a type of fungus, and I would not be surprised if that's what it was. If you're looking at this and you know what that is, please let me know. But yeah, this is our humble abode. It's where we overwinter plants in the basement. It is not great, but you do the best you can with what you have, and this is what we have. We don't have a greenhouse. We just have some grow lights set up down here, some heat mats, and this is what we do. 
So share with me your setup. Let me know where you're at if you started seeds, and I'll see you in the next video.